Right, well it's Sunday morning and um, I'm going with two friends up to the Marine Hall at Fleetwood. Um, they're going to do Dickinson's Real Deal, so we've got a couple of things we thought we'd take. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going with Sandy and Marie, they're going in the other car, I'm just behind Sandy, uh, because um, I don't know that I can stand that long, you know, this is a long time waiting, so I said I'd rather go in my own car. So here we go. This is Cleveland's that we're going through now. And straight up to Fleetwood. It's usually quite busy on a Sunday, Cleveland's. It's not all the time. It's like a squeaking, whistling noise. It's feeling quite warm now. The sun's not come out. It's quite cloudy. boat on the left hand side, they fill that with flowers in the summer. I've had mixed response about the sound, a lot of people say they can hear it and then other people say they can't so I don't know what the answer is, probably the answer is to start doing voiceovers. I'll see how this one goes. You see when I play it back I can hear it fine. 
of them and probably know what I've said, so it makes it easier. So here we are at the Marine Hall. Um, there is quite a queue outside, but it's not as bad as what I thought it would be. Um, so we're, we're just waiting to go in. Um, I think the letting people in in sections, um, it, inside, I didn't find out till afterwards, but inside there's like two big seating areas where you can go in and wait um, once you get through the first queue. I think the first queue took us about an hour and a half. Uh, this is Sandy, uh, the local um, uh, the, the local paper were there taking photos and she got her books out to show them. This is a man with an old hoover or vacuum cleaner, whatever you want to call it. May not be a hoover. <laughs> and this is as we were going in. Um, you can see we're still queuing. You had to show your ID and everything. And fill a form in in case you were filmed on TV. We wouldn't have been filmed, but I think some other people were. Um, it it's going to be um four four shows I think are coming from this, and they're going to be shown in um January. Um, everyone was really really nice. Um, this is after we'd gone through the gone inside and then we went into another waiting area and then we were caught through to this one that was the entrance to go in um and you can just see a sneak peek inside david dickinson did come out and talk to us a couple of times and then this other lady uh, i've seen her on the show but i'm not sure of her name uh, she was very good and she posed for photos with people when David Dickinson came out, I couldn't get my phone out quick enough to film him, but he was so nice. He had a lovely royal blue suit on. Um, so the, here he is, she is po posing with uh, people for photos. It was really interesting. So that concludes our little trip to Dickinson's Real Deal. Um, the video got up to where we went through. Uh, you're not allowed to film inside. Um, so I couldn't film anymore. Um, and uh, so what happened was when you went through, um, you took there was like a, a great big desk with a couple of um, valuers on and you took your item to them and they told you what it was worth. Now, this is what I took. It was an ornament that I've had for years. Um, it's a Royal Ducks, it is. I knew it was Royal Ducks. Um, and he said it was worth between 50 and and £100. He said that year, a few years ago it would have been worth a lot more. Um, but I suppose the fashions have changed and people want more minimalistic things now. I don't know whether I part with it because I think it's lovely. Um, even though I don't really have it out on display much, um, 
it was my great auntie's uh, and she gave it to my mum and I've got it now. I don't know whether any of my children would want it, probably not. Uh, but I think it's rather pretty. So that was like, they said at the moment, that's worth 50 to 100. Um, now my friend had um, got lots of stamps and postcards and cigarette cards. Um, so I think they told her to take them to a, um, you know, a specialist stamp dealer. And then another friend had got a picture that she'd uh, got in France. And I think she got a valuation for it. None of us were selected to go through <laughs> to be uh, bid at, you know, because actually all they actually do is give you a valuation. But I do think they select so many to go through, you know, to where they get offered money. Uh, but sadly, none of us did. But it was a very, really enjoyable day. We did really enjoy it. It was a bit different. So if it comes to your area, I recommend that you go, you know. And they did say that they would see everybody. They came out and they kept saying that they've never had such a big response. Um, and they were really pleased, you know. And David Dickerson came out a couple of times, like I said before. Um, and so it, it was really nice. It was a nice day. Um, now, um, what I'm going to do before I finish, because I keep forgetting to do this, uh, do you remember the Just Spices box that I said I was going to give away? Um, well, I'll do the draw for that now. Um, I've got it all sealed, uh, ready to go. Um, it just needs wrapping and putting the um, the address on of the winner. So we'll do that now. And I may have some very exciting news shortly for one of you, um, just uh, for one of you from Just Spices. So watch this space. Uh, so now I'm going to do the draw. Right, let's try. So it says get comments. Oh, I've got to do this some again. Then get YouTube comments. Right, so I've done that, sorry. And then it says start the raffle winner. Can you see it's going through them all? Carol Shobbs, S-C-H-O-B-S. Carol Shobbs. Right, um, right, I'll, Carol, if you can just contact me um, in my, um, in the description box, you will see that my, I've got an email address, um, which is Tina's Talk Time at Gmail dot com oh no yeah dot com so if you can just contact me and say you're the winner and send me your address i'll post them off to you and congratulations and if anybody's not subscribed i'd love you to subscribe because i've got another super giveaway coming up shortly um and lots and lots of videos to catch up on i seem to be so behind with them um so anyway um if you haven't subscribed i'd love you to it really helps us small youtubers out um, and if you like the video, give it a tick um, and ring that bell because you'll get notified when I do one again. So anyway, bye bye.